sir. Good evening, everyone. Today it's your side of my mother, Chiparba Dajana. We doing Hor Yushua, Uru Asham Dajana, we're going to add Amen. My wife and my daughter right now in Israel. While they didn't give specifically for that only, though to be between the rabbi, also to be the king, to pray over there. It's a very big mitzvah, like the Ben Yishchai and all other, other post came said. Whoever saying, I want to go to Israel, I want to visit the, the, the cemetery of specific tzaddik. And he's saying, I want to, it didn't go with, but I said, I'm going to go. And he's saying, make a big nether. Well, have a very big nether. You have to go and do that nether. If he said, I want to go and visit that tzaddik and pray over there, you must do that. So, we had a plan to go to Israel to pray. Baruch Hashem, they go many places. <coughs> now to the your side, my mother, so I want to speak a couple of words about her. Well, uh, my mother, she born in uh, Russia, called country, but her name Pan Shame. I know people are going to say a weird name, but that's the name of that place was. Pan Shame. Pan Shame they really had the argument exactly what the place, but they what that the place there was. Hashem is something like that. Then they leave. Then they leave that that country. Shh, it was, it was before World War Two. It was before World War Two. They left that country, and they came to Irk, uh, name by name Tashkent. Well, the World War Two started. My grandfather, my name is Rafael, uh, he was a singer, very good singer. And they took him. They took him to the war. They took him to the war. And uh, he left and he didn't come back. Shh, guys. And he didn't come back. Then my grandmother, Adina, she left with uh, five kids without a husband. Rafael Ben? Rafael. What's, what's his parents name? Uh, his mom was named Dina. Then she left with the, with the five kids without a husband. They were a very hard time. You know all the history of the Jewish people after World War II was happening, you know? There was no food, no work, no job. Everybody know the story, the history talks about uh, a lot about that. My mom, <coughs> the way I, I heard of it, she used to tell me, also grandma here more or less, she decided to be like a man. No choice, when there's no, there's no father or there's no brother. I mean, she had a brother, it was a little boy. It was, it was very, it was small. And she decided to be like a man. And she decided to open a barbershop. <laughs> like all the Bukharian, like the barbershop and the shoemakers. Yeah, my mom, yeah. She decided, I want to open a barbershop and I want to help my mom. And that's exactly what she did. She opened a barbershop. She was a very young girl. And you know, the, the girl by the age of 15, 16, you know how the, everybody guy is starting with the girls and the Muslims, you're in a Muslim country. And I was here, I was heard a couple of stories about the uh, Moroccan uh, Jews in their country. They also considered Muslim, it's just different Muslim. It was not Muslim. They were so evil, it's unbelievable what they used to do it. Well, so uh, she opened the store and started to work over there. She held her mom, she held her sister, and she held her brother. And uh, when she get married to my father, uh, she decided to give the store to her brother. She said, I'm leaving, I'm getting married. I want you to take care of uh, mom and the, uh, your other sisters and don't leave it like that. Imagine yourself which kind of closeness between the brother and sisters. Giving all the store to the brother you should take care of the family. That's what she did it. She gave everything to uh, her brother and to my uncle, uh, and he was used to work on that. And 
continues to help her mom, her sister, and her brothers. And uh, after many years of the marriage, by being in Tashkent, uh, well, my sisters and my we were born over there. And the year of 70, 72, we decided to leave Russia and come back to, and go to make Aliyah to Israel. My father didn't want to. He said, no way I'm going. And he said, I'm not, not leaving because, I mean, he had a good reason. One of the reasons was all, 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 all his brother and sister, everybody was over there. Nobody used to move there. So how are we going to leave, you know? So she convinced him, she explained. What year? 72? 72, yeah. She said, convince him. She said, you're going to be regretting what you're not going to do now. The kids grow, you know. He, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And then he said, yes. Yeah. Power. Yeah, women have a power. Yeah. And we left Russia and we came to Israel. And we had a, such a kind of uh, imagination where we're going, like the holiest place in the world. It is a holy. Israel always holy. It doesn't mean what's going on is not holy. But the, in the eyes, we had a picture, you go in your home. Very nice. So we came, we came, suddenly see, we see movie theaters, things that make sense, what's going on, what's going on here, what's going on, oh my God. And the way it was, the way it was, it's new, we had it over there, well, we're a little bit lost, but we bring this back again. But that's one of the tests. So we live in the Bechemesh, for two years, when you came, then it was a tremendous accident to my mom. She used to go to work to Jerusalem to go to work. She go to work to Jerusalem, it was like a one hour. When we came to Bechemesh, it's not the Bechemesh you see now. My time was a desert. There's no Bechemesh over there. You just see the sand and the, and the stone and the, and the mountain. That's all you see. Couple of buildings, two buildings here, three buildings here, that's all you see. So, uh, no job over there. Today is Mamash. No job, and they're supposed to go to Jerusalem to work. One week before the war of Yom Kippur, one week before the war of Yom Kippur, <laughs> it was an accident. Accident, the bus turns uh, Slip, slipped over. Slip over in the way. Nobody died. That whole thing is the secret is inside the bus, nobody died. Just my mom get very bad hurt, and uh, it was very hard, a very bad situation. My father was scared, maybe she gonna die, it's and that. But Baruch Hashem, Hashem a miracle, she stay alive. And after a couple of years, we moved to Tel Aviv. They said, you cannot live, we have to go to a place, there's a job, stuff. This. Yeah, <laughs> we moved to Tel Aviv. And right there, and uh, right there, she, we, I grow over there. I mean, I was also a too. But that place was already growing. <clears throat> the truth is, I was in Yeshiva uh, just for a year or two. And then it was different stories, doesn't matter. So that's the whole story of her, her was. And then I left. I left the Israel, I came here. Uh, there are many reasons for it. And she wanted to always be come back. I couldn't. Also, by the, by the uh, Heter. How do you say Heter? Permission. permission of the rabbis that I don't need to go back. And the end of her life, I mean, five, six, six years, seven, seven years ago, five, five, six years before she passed away, she was agree with me. Or my father saying, "Yeah, you're doing a great job. It's okay. You do whatever you do right way. Your rabbi telling you, they bless me and so forth and so on." And then she passed away. And uh, now is today the she was uh, the 16th of Tammuz. It's like Khur, Menashe and Miriam also. Yeah, Menashe and Miriam. Khur, Khur, Khur. So also they were killed by the Arab Rav. Yeah, they were by the Arab. So also they also have Khur. Okay, now I'm going to say the Bray Torah for Hon Shabu, we should tell our stories. Now we're going to say the Bray Torah. Before I can open the Bray Torah, I want to say a couple of words at the beginning to show how a little bit understanding what I'm trying to say over here. I only understand one thing, you know, 
We today we don't have bet mikdash. Everybody know that we know the bet mikdash. Beside the bet mikdash, we have bet bet knesset. I will show. I'm not going to bring you all the details. I'm going to have a little here, a little there. The Zohar Kadosh, Zohar Kadosh said, when the Beit Hamikdash get destroyed, uh, entire clipot, uncle, uncle, uncle system of negativities come out to the world and basically close, close, uh, create like a shell. The entire world, that Kalipa, when the Beit get destroyed, entire shell in the heaven between us and between Kadesh Baruch Hu. And Chazal said that shell is also by the, those bad angels, but permission by Hashem that they did it after Beit Hamidah get destroyed. But that shell almost never opened. Look away, I'm telling you, in Zohar Kadosh. That shell almost never opened, only opened when the Jewish people going to the shul to pray. Three times a day, he open up. Shacharit and Harvi, also in the Hagim, in the, in the holidays. Only Shabbat, of course. Only those days, the opening, that shell, that klipa, that, that sitra achra, it moves to Jewish people because they pray now. That was connected to the parasha of Balak. I mean, yeah. parasha of Balak, that the uh, that the Bilam bless Mato Alecha Yaakov Umishkotecha Israel. That only those things gonna stay. Imagine yourself, and and to us is the biggest opportunity to be in the shul to pray. Not to saying I'm gonna pray here and there. When you have an opportunity, you must be in the shul. You must be in the shul because imagine yourself. You come to shul. It's that time, that that opening, that 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 malach, that angel, which is a uh, holding to close the shell that should be everything closed. He opening that and leaving to the Jews, to people, to pray, to opening to, to the prayer should be accepted, and so far and so on. Now, now I want to talk about the uh, uh, prayer accepting. I will talk about the, wo uh, the the word amen, the secret of amen, the power of amen. I know uh, here what I'm gonna read over here. He's not gonna say uh, he's not gonna say all the details, but he's gonna say most of the details and explain to you the, the power of Amen. I will tell you one thing, guys. I see myself. I'm seeing right now, not here, but halal, many places, and I will show also sometime people abuse the energy and the power of Amen. You are much abusing. I will say maybe you're doing this. Because uh, not purposely, not intentionally, uh, we have maybe a lot of understanding. But nevertheless, guys, you, you are a, a knowledgeable person. You are an educated. You are educated. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows today how to read and how to write down. Not our grandmother, grandfather time, they didn't know nothing. So you all educated. You have the biggest opportunity, open book and learn, and not, and to know what's right, what's wrong. It's your it's your obligation. You are not gonna have any excuse by saying in the time I cannot. And 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 the, the Zohar Kadosh so much stringent, not 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 that I wanna say in different places. When the people they are uh, abused, the power of a man, it's a very big avera which I don't wanna make you scared. You're gonna say, how come such a bad, such a, how come such kind of punishment? We have so many other averot, and and doesn't talk about that. Especially in Amen, he's such a stringent on that. And Amen, and word Amen, it's not just to say Amen. You have to learn how to make kaniyos on the power of Amen. And not only that, I mean, whatever he's saying over here, it's such an easy thing. Not so much hard. It's only one thing we need. You know what we needed? Attention. What attention? You should put your attention and the amen. That's all you have to do. It. You don't need to be no mukubal, no rashash, no ari, nobody. You, mamash, he, he didn't ask us to be those. He did not even ask us to be those. Simplest person, but at least you put attention. You put attention when you say amen. 
Your word, amen, should not be in a joke way. I say amen, what do you want? What do you think what you say, amen? Nothing. So it's not bad, it's not good. What do you want to do? What, what should you think about? He say, Baruch HaTashem. If he's a Baruch say amen, what do you want to do? It's not, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not only that. And we're obligated to learn. And not, now you're going to see what he's saying over here. Now you're going to see why he's so much stringent. What's happening when we say amen? There's our indicator. There's one person over here. He really love amen. But you have to put more power on that. It's not only to say it. He say it loudly because he understood amen is a very big thing. So it's not only that to scream to say it. You have to open connection. So listen over here. I didn't mention your name. So don't worry about it. Okay. Amar Yehuda. Look over here, guys. I want you to listen to every single word. Amar Yehuda. Uboza Yikalo. Boza Yikalo. You're going to say some sentences, so don't take it literally. Oh, that's it. I get the word. No. He said, he said, but you consider all of you uh, like a babies, but don't take that word baby for all the rest of your 60, 60 50, 70 years. <laughs> you cannot be babies of many years. You just put in your mind and open it. Uboza Yikalo. Moza Bozai. Bozai. Uh, abusing. Who abused? Who abuse Hashem say who abusing me? Mikhail. It has a second alive? Tamshik is second alive. It told you a telephone shot. Who abusing me? Hashem saying. What is this? Bozai Kalu. Who those who abusing me, Hashem said. Who both abusing me? Hainu? Look away. Hainu? Which means who? Mi Sheino Yodeya Lichabet et Adono. Whoever doesn't know how honor to Hashem. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? If you not connect yourself to the word Amen, it means you're not, you're not honoring Hashem. You're not honoring Hashem. Are you just saying that you still get something? No, if you don't understand, no? Shh. No interruptions, for how? Question and the answer. For those who doesn't know, honor me, Hashem saying. What, what, what do you mean? He didn't make Kavana by saying Amen. Guys, wake up. Shalamadu, we learn. Gadol ha'one. Amen. Your terminal barech. It's highest level when I say Amen in the, to somebody or in my prayers or in the tefillah. Then when I say bracha, bracha, anyway I have to say, no problem. But the power by saying amen that somebody say bracha is more high level than I say bracha himself. Ve'ine imadnu, ve'er bishimon, sha'amar, sha'one amen, we learn next to bishimon, whoever answer amen, moshech barachot mimavua. You draw the biggest bracha from heaven. Now you can understand why Hashem is telling you why you not connect. I mean, I'm giving you bracha. It's like uh, my son Shalom sent the send the send the, the video that the lady she was from and then she couldn't handle herself and they and then and then she give the money to the Arab Arab Mirayat that the Libavich Rebbe and then she I'm making shortcut. And she was asking him, the, I mean, she came to say, uh, it's me, it's and that. And he started to bless her, so much money she gave. And she suddenly saying, stop, 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 stop. He said, why are you saying stop? I'm giving you brachot. You should need to stop. Okay, that was a different story. She was feel uncomfortable. Uh, it's, you see the Jew, she feel that she she was not giving Shabbat already. She was, she was saying to her that what happened. Okay, so just I'm telling you. But Hashem is saying over here, by saying amen, by saying amen, you draw an enormous bracha. Shehu bina. You're from the world, world. Call bina. Bina consciousness. From world, amen. You draw the bracha from there. You just said, it's a little meditation, a little study. Always you're going to put in your mind, I'm, I'm a Moshe bracha from the bina. When you say amen, it's already going to be in your brain. You don't need to over here finish college to understand that. Shehu bina. El, 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 amelech. Shehu then you are drawing that bracha to the king, which consider a za, most of you know, but but if he doesn't understand that, but think about king is Hashem. 
הוא מולך על המלכה, and then Hashem giving the bracha to the queen. So the Shekhinah Kedusha, she is receiving, receiving the bracha when you're saying Amen. ובאותיות חכות של כושר רבי אלעזר, אומר, מן א' דאמן שהיא בינה נאו. You have really, what you have to do, what you have to do, really you have to do is, when you put it in your mind, you are writing down in the brain, the Aleph and the Mem and the Nun. Always when you say Amen, we're going to learn over here a little bit, yeah? Always when, Amen, if you're even going to forget the Bina consciousness or the Za, Mikhail, or other things you're going to forget about, but if you're going to put your mind, Always that letter. When you say Amen, Aleph, Mem, Nun, it's already something. Why? Because the bracha really transforming from those letters. From the Aleph, from the heaven coming to the Aleph, from the Aleph to the Mem, and from the Mem coming to the letter Nun. I will explain over here. Aleph, Damen, Shu, Bina. Aleph really is a word, the word come from the word called Bina. <coughs> Bina consciousness. El Hamem, that Aleph bracha giving from the Bina to the letter Mem. Guys, you have to understand. When I, when I, when I sometimes mention Aleph Bet, people looking like, uh, okay, the Rabbi is for a kindergarten. I mean, people going to the kindergarten, they're learning Aleph Bet, Gemel, Dalit, it's all the kids. But don't, you forget one thing. Don't you will learn that the Hashem created the world from Aleph Bet? Ah, don't you forget, do you forget that? I hope you don't forget that. Ah, I hope you don't forget that. You know, Mikhail, the Hashem created the world with the Aleph Bet. Which means, before the heaven, before the sun, before the moon, before the, all the galaxies, was Aleph Bet first. And from the Aleph Bet, Hashem created the entire, entire universe. So don't take it such an easy way when you say Amen, it's like, uh, okay, Aleph Bet Nun. Yeah, this is very important thing. To know those letters when you make it in your mind, you are writing down in your brain, you really basically you draw entire bracha to the world. Now look what you're saying. El mem da amen shuza, u mem shuda da amen lenun, shi amalchut. Basically, from heaven, from the bina going to the za, from the za going to the malchut, the shvenakusha, which is the she is the nun, and bring the bracha shi amalchut. כיוון שמגיעה את הברכות לנון ווין, אורי דה ברכה קמים תודה את הלטר נון סופית. ואת הברכה אורי דה קמים. אבל כן, ברכה cannot come there if you not think about that. Now you, from here you could understand what the power of your mind is. From here you could understand the power of your mind. Guys, wake up. Wake up. Look at the power of your mind. You with your brain bringing that bracha to the letters. Shem al-Khod, Shem al-Khod, you see Misham al-Khod. And from that malchot, all the bracha comes down. Le'ilyonim v'tachtonim. To the upper lower world and the bottom world. All the bracha comes down. Umit pashtot bekol. And they get split out to the whole entire world. והכל יוצא, the voice coming out from the heaven, and he's saying, שיתו משקוי וברכות שהוציא פלוני עבד מלך הקדוש. וואו. He's saying, all your angels and people, open your mouth, raise your hands, take the bracha from that guy, which we come on in, amen. I, do you, do you listen to me? I hope you're not drunk, guys. We are with Torah. Do you understand? The voice, the voice, voice. How was me, bro? The voice coming out and saying, Are you angels, people? Be ready. Open your mouth. Raise your arms. Baracha coming. Because that guy over there in the shul, make a kavanah in amen. And how many people make Kavanah? Hashem is small. Hashem is small. 
וכשישראל למטה, when the Jewish people down here, שומרים עצמם לענות אמן, when they keeping to say אמן proper way. yesterday, yesterday, אוקיי, ברוך השם, היה את המניין, מלך, I was, only שלום הוא אומר, אמן, אמן, לאודלי. אדר, כן, זה וואי, מה זה פרבלום? תודה Uh, they, they were saying Amen very not, uh, not the right way. He was so upset that he said, I don't want to come to the show anymore. Let's forget about it. They're not going to be here in the ceremony anymore. <coughs> people doesn't understand, people doesn't understand how important to connect ourselves, our mind, to the Barakot, to the Amen when we're saying. You know? I mean, when you make connections, you can, like, like a computer, I mean, Le Havdil. Le Havdil. Le Havdil Elim Abdalot. I mean, you know, don't you see, it's like, a, it's a little funny, you don't just see so? Imagine yourself, I want to send you an email. I want to send an email. One dad, but you put it over there, I cannot find it. Only one dad, only one dad. I put your full name, everything, 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 doesn't go, doesn't go. Why? Because in the one dad, she had, he had whatever he did it. He cannot go there. קל וחומר נעבוד עבודת השם. אין השם say, אם you do one כוונה, not like a, not like a old, like a computer. At least some connection, I can make sense. Forget about all the connection. וכשישראל למטה, שומעים עשו על ענון אמן, לקבל ליבם, look over here. When the Jewish people down here, when they say אמן, and they make כוונה, אברהם, and they make כוונה, and they make כוונה, they hard. You see, it's not enough, Misha. I started with the Namaste. It's not enough only your mind. Also your heart. Serza. Serza. Mikhail. Serza, the heart, should be connected to that prayer, to that Amen. When the Jewish people does that, look over here. Kumosha Sarik. Not like Chalebele. Not Chalebele. Kumo Shetzarif, the way it's supposed to be. Kfi, Kumo Shetzarif, Kama Pitchei Brachot, Tuchim Limala. How many opening of the heaven opening because that Jewish person make real Kamana and that word Amen. Kama Tov Nimtza Baruch Allah Olamod. How many good things come into the world because that Amen. How many good things come into the world because that, I mean, it could be a small shoe, it could be half a world receiving the bracha from that place. It's going to make a great connection. Look over here. Look over here. Shh. Kama simcha mloyachol. Kama simcha. Skol karadais. How many happiness. Hibakol. All over the world. Umao shekesh eskharam shel israel shgar mulazay. What's the reward of Jewish people by doing that? What's the reward? Scharamu, look away. Scharamu, bo'olam azeh, bo'olam ba. They're going to receive reward in this world and also world to come. You want to hear which kind of reward? You want to hear it? Yes. Ah, you want to listen to what I'm saying. You want to hear it? Yes. Bo'olam azeh, in this world, everybody's going to like that. I'm sure they're going to like it. Bo'olam azeh, In this world, when there's somebody bothering you, someone want to hurt you, someone want to make you a problem, someone want to make you, want to make you a problem in your life. When they're praying properly the way I told you, you are saying, there is a voice coming out from the heaven, in the world, he's saying, he's saying, that guy, that guy, With the Shomer Emunim, you know to say I'm in proper way, don't touch him. Voice coming out saying to the angels, that guy nobody should touch him. Only who knows not only Kavana and Amen. Al tikre Emunim ila Aminim. 
דהיינו, ששומרים לענות אמן. They are keeping to say right of אמן. Now you could see, now you could see, now you could see, אברהם, now you could see, when you could see, when the Chazan praying, if you realize, if somebody watching me, מולו, if you watching me, I'm trying to listen to every single word the Chazan saying. Why? It's, it's important, you have to connect yourself. Not with attention to different places. כמו שישראל פתחו להם שני הברכות, כך אתה פתחו שערים ותקבל תפילתם על אלה שצורים להם. בשביל, those who really want to hurt you, make a problem, השם סייבינג היא לא נדעת, היא תקין רבנג של אותם אנשים. בגלל, למה? בגלל שאתה מביא קונקט עם האמן בפרופר ווי. הוא בולמה דן, זה שכרה בולמה זה, 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 זה שכרה בולמה הוא משיב, הוא יוצא, כי כשיוצא אדם מהעולם הזה, ואין יור נשמה כאן נקם אאוט, אין אדם לסטרנים, גאיס. אין אדם לסטרנים, 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 שהיה שומר לענות אמן, that he was really keeping to say אמן proper way. משהו, כלומר, ששומר אותה הברכה, שאומר וברך ומחכה לו, לענות אמן אחרי אמן, ושבין, נדע לו נדעת, you such a kind of person, I mean, we talk about that person, who is the שמה, who is not going to Allah Abba. You such a kind of person, you really always keeping, when you're in the shul, ממש you follow חזן, every single thing, or people coming, say ברכות, everything keeping in your mind, to everywhere to say Baruch Hu Shema Amin in a proper way and also the Kavana the Aleph Mem Nun with the Bina at Ferdu Malchut Kmo Shetari is always supposed to be Az Nishmato Ola, your Neshama goes up Umachrezer Lefanav, Petchu Sha'arim Lefanav and the heavens go telling open gates for this, for this, for this Jewish fellow boy, guy which come over here Kmo Shu, Aya Potech Sha'arim Kol Yom The way you was The way you was opening the heaven, the way you was opening the gate while you was in this world, they're going to open the gate to your order. You open the gate here, they're going to open your order. You didn't open, they're going to open your order. Amar Rabbi Yossi, Ma ome, Amar Rabbi Abba, Ariman Akol, Amen Nikra, Awad Nachal Olim Shach, Shu Bina Nikra Amen. שכתוב יש לאמון, אל תקרא אמון אלא אמן. קיום כל המדרגות, דהיינו אותו נחל נמשך. There is a נחל, there is a מבוע, there is a specific kind of, uh, I could call this נחל by name river, kind of specific energy called like a river, yeah? שביוצא שהוא הבינה נקרא אמן שלמדנו. מן העולם עד העולם פירשו מהעולם שלמעלה שהוא בינה לעולם של איזשהו מלכות. אף כאן אמן ואמן. Which means, from world בינה You draw to the world Malchut in our this world that Baracha when you Kavana when you saying Amen. Shema Shemate Shem Malchut Amen. For the Kiyum Kol Olam Kol Shikiyum Kol Kiyum Shel Olam Shel Kolam. Kor Emadu Amen Bel Aotiot Shibo Aleph Da Amen U Am 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 Kud Abayer Shel Kol Abrachot Novod Yotzut Misham Nimsaot Mem Tocha. Which means the Aleph himself, the Aleph himself, he is the root. of all the brachot. The letter Aleph, I told you, remember? When the, all the letters came to Hashem, when Hashem killed the world, remember I told once, remember that uh, I told that? Huh? Do you remember that? When Hashem started the Barishit from the bed, and then Aleph complained or something, right? He didn't complain. He didn't complain. No. He, when he, before he created the world, Mara Ben Yomim, When he created the world, Hashem created the world, all the letters, all the letters came to Hashem, all the alphabet. He, they, they start to talk to Hashem. It's a life thing. Guys, I want to understand. The alphabet is a life thing. I want you to understand that. It's not the regular stuff. It's a life thing. When you, how, how, how am I putting it in hand? It's written by the uh, sofer. If every, 
why why you are writing something if something Hashem Hashem already in the Talmud of Taj? So it's a life thing. It's a it's a life. It has a, it's 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 energy with you have a living on the, in, inside of it. So when you saying Aleph, you wake up that life, that energy from the heaven. So so when the letters come to Hashem by talking, they start from the bottom. First come Taf, then come Shin, then come Resh. They spoke with Hashem. And mm -hmm. Hashem said, I will create the world not from you, not from you, not from you, not from you. He, the, all the reasons, I'm not going to write down too into all the details. And then with the letter bed, he stopped. He said, I will create the world from you. They talk. Letter bed talk with Hashem. He said, yeah, I will create with you. Letter Aleph, he didn't come to Hashem to talk to him. The Zohar HaKadur said that Hashem talked to him. He said, why are you not coming to speak with me the way all other letters came? And then he said, why the point of me to come to you? When you already decided to create the world with the letter bed, and other letter already no point, so why what was the point to talk to me? He said it doesn't matter, even though you think that, but there is a there is a more detail. It's such a kind of so you can say what's the meaning of this conversation? One point. What's the meaning of this? But Hasa Shalom, we should not talk about this literally. The the sages said has a lot of deep meaning on that. The the whole meaning on this. That, uh, that the whole meaning, I can explain what the conversation was. The uh, Hashem said to Aleph, Yes, I know. Yes, I know. I could, I said to the world from the bed, but you should know one thing you're gonna be, you're gonna be the crown from all letters and I, the, the, the letters I created. You're gonna be the crown. And the, and the Kabbalistically, the Kabbalistically, the power of the Aleph is a God. What's a God? The Gimel the Rishonor. Well, the Sfirot. From Keter to Malchut, our tenth spirit, yeah, and we have we deal, we, we live we deal with the seven from Chesed until Malchut, but the Keter Hamar Bina we don't deal. That God, the Talban, Hashem gives to the Aleph. Yeah, Hashem gives to the Aleph, and He said to him, when you do any combination, any prayer, any tefillah, anything, without the God, it's not going to work out. He is like a generator to world to to the word to the sentence come out and make his to make it the process supposed to be. You understand that? That's the, that's the power of Aleph. So he over here saying, the Aleph, he basically, is the generator, is the opening for all the Barakot from Shammai. Aleph, not only, only the Bina. Bina, it's a one world. There's a, an upper, this is over here, they say that, in the Sakhaim. There is a higher level than the Bina that's called Arich and Pain. Which that, that Aleph, climbing from there, there is an Aleph, the Bina, the Arich. Really, this Aleph, the Bina, the Arich, he is in the top of the arich, which shine forming, transforming that energy from that world. So that's the reason when you say Amen, if you put in your eyes Aleph Mem Nun, you already did the job. I know it's going to be, it's not, it's not hard. Think about Aleph Mem Nun. The hard is a little bit to know the Olamo, the names like Arif, Bina, Zam, Malchut. So just but, to think Aleph Mem Nun, that's it, you good? Yeah, the Aleph Mem Nun. Yeah, but you have to put in your eyes that Aleph is the Keter. Aleph the, is the Keter, is the crown. The entire energy of Baraka coming from that letter. And coming to the Mem, and Mem giving to the Nun. Yeah. Of course, you're going to know more this details way, here. This way. Yeah, this way. Right. If you're going to always carry in your mind, it's going to already in your brain. It's not going to, it's going to be stick on you. It's not going to leave you. It's going to be always with you. Lamano. <laughs> כל ששומי שומי שומי הברכה מיותו שוברר ולא כיוון ליבו נעלוק אובי יד. זאת אומרת סטרינג'נסי. זאת אומרת סטרינג'נסי. אני רוצה להגיד לך במיוחד. אני אומר, אל תקדיש את זה רידה לדעת מה יהיה וזה. כשאתה מתחיל לדעת, 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 כש I saw, they pray, they're not saying Amen. Silly people are saying Amen, they talk, they talk, they talk. But see, there is a lot, nothing, nothing happened. With the strimal, they had a lot of stuff. Talk, you think about Baruch HaBarachai, nothing. You have to understand, it's very bad. When you're going to the shul, it's very important, it's a business responsibility. Lamad will learn. Kol shisho, mi shisho mea baracha, mea toh shavarek, ulo kibel, ulo kibel libo. When you hear the bracha, when you hear the bracha, you didn't connect your heart to that bracha. 
בעמי, עליו נאמר הוא זה יקרא לו, חס ושלום. He said to those people, it means they are abusing me, the way he abused me, I'm going to also abuse him. To who? To those who don't want to connect themselves in the world, amen. So very important. Now from here you could learn, guys. I mean, again, why Ben Yishchai said, if I pray when I say, he said, Borachat Hashem Bonir Yerushalayim, you, you, you didn't put your heart. You say, amen, but you don't know what to say, amen. It's already, he halakhli posthik, it's already almost Baracha Levatala, because If I say Baruch Hu Amen, and that may connect my heart, that I say Baruch Hu Baruch Hu Amen to Boni Yerushalayim. So how you say Amen? I mean, you say, but you didn't mean Amen to Boni Yerushalayim. Almost like Kerem Shu'ah, or other stuff. You didn't connect your heart on that. <laughs> how is it going to be? How is it going to work out? How is it going to work out? Hashem give you a heart? Yes. You, you feel with your heart? Yes. Hashem give you a brain? Your brain. You took your brain? Hashem wanna, who give you a heart? Hashem. Who give you a brain? Hashem. Why, why not doing what he said? I mean, it's his, not yours. He said, I don't want you connect yourself to me. Connect yourself to me. When I say, Barachot, 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 Amen, don't talk, don't speak, don't waste your time. In Kaddish, wow, 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 wow. I want to say something, guys. I want to give you some, some, some mitzvah. I want some connection. I want to. I, I want to share something with you with my uh, what I do. Take it seriously. Is that my word? The only Vilna said. By the way, the second one over there, the only writing in Hebrew, could read to see understand that the second one, not the first one. The second one with the black and uh, over there is an over there. Read over there. The Gaon Vilna said. You know what Gaon Vilna said? I'm in Monet. You know what the Gaon Vilna said? You know what he said? He said like this. If you make connection like that. Right? If you fail Chas Hashanah in Avera, if you fail in Avera, not by purposely, but happen, in Jewish, happen. Don't worry. Can you yourself all this? I shall never forgive you. What? Yeah, in the Amen. In which Amen? Not regular, but which? When we say Amen is the Rabbah, Amen Yehesh, the Rabbah, Mavora, the Olam, the Almei, Almayai, Barah. Yeah, when you say Rabbah, take upon yourself to do Hashem. Take upon yourself to do so, and Amen Yishmei Rabbah. And you say in your mind, in Amen Yishmei Rabbah should be connected the Yud Kevavke. How? By your Kiddush Hashem. How? Because when you take Kiddush Hashem, when you Kiddush Hashem, 11 sparks coming out from the Klippah. 11 sparks, 11 sparks come out from, which 11? From the Vavke. Vav is a six. Hey, it's a five. It's eleven. So those Klipot, which is uh, the Vavke, is a suffering through the Averot. You bring them up by Yisei Amesh Rabbah, and you connect into the Yudke. So basically what you do, you connect in Yudke and Vavke. But you have to make you do Shashem. You take upon yourself, Mikhail, you take upon yourself to do Shashem. Let's do this again. For Kadosh. No, really, you have to take upon yourself that you're sacrificing yourself for Kadosh. For example, say like you are saying Kadosh, you are dying in Kadosh. Yeah, Bobby, don't. I can't speak. Kadosh Hashem, that you say that you are a, you are in that you are, but when in Yehesh the Rabbah. So, a little bit from the Gemal, and connected the Miki Shem Hashem Echad, Yud Kei Vavke. So, mind yourself, by the Kaddish saying, every person make connection, not only that, also in Amen and the Kaddishim, the same thing Aleph Mem Nun. It's the same thing Aleph Mem Nun. The Shefa coming from Ketar Elyon, to the Mem from the Mem to the Nun. So, this is what I wanted to talk about. I know time is already running. We, uh, any questions you could ask me right now. If anyone has a question. <laughs> Everything already clear? <laughs> Everything already clear? If you hear Kriyat Shema Al Amita, you have to say Amen. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> fell on the sleep, you have to say Amen to the Raha. I'm a peel. 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 It's a question you learn in the Poskim. You hear somebody say, I'm a peel. And you have to say Amen. What's the, what's the shayla? What if you won't fall asleep? You're saying Amen, it means Amen. <laughs>
Is there a I'm in the Matara? Uh, <laughs> I have a question. A yeah. person is supposed to say a hundred uh, brahma a day, right? Yeah. If he says a man, is that considered a percent of brahma? So let's say you're eating an apple. I could fulfill the mitzvah by saying amen when you say I ate. So do I fulfill that one bracha of uh, behind the brachot? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. By saying amen. Yeah. He's saying, can you instead of saying the bracha, can you say amen? Not if, the, if the, you're not saying that. I'm having the kavanah like I'm doing the mitzvah. That's not the fact that you said amen. What? That's not the fact that you said amen. The fact that you heard the bracha. Shomea, Shomea, lo haone ke haomer. Shomea, Shomea ke haone. Every day we have a mitzvah to say 100 brachot, 90 amenim. If you, what you were saying is correct, you should have been to say 10 amenim. Why? Because the 90 amens would have been in the 100 brachot. I'm saying amen, 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 amen. I said I did 90 brachot too. No, you have to say a hundred brachot. So it doesn't count. It doesn't count, of course not. That's why I said, Gadol ha'one amen. Gadol ha'one amen. Your term in Ambarech. What? If it was the same, Kemo ha'one amen, Kemo ha'one amen. Gadol ha'one amen. Your term in Ambarech. That means amen is something else. Your term is not the law amen. The, the, the fact that you, I think, Kavanti, I say, the Chavai, my bracha Even though, you know, besides what you're saying, the brachot, when you're saying the the, the, the Chavai, I mean, pray, you have to pray anyway. You know that. You have to be praying the three fillers. You have to say all the Kedusha. All this, everything have to be inside that. They're just saying, with those brachot, how many brachot you could win? And you have to be on the brachot. Of course, whatever you're saying, but other stuff, you're adding on that. It's much more, it's much better. But those connections uh, in the Tfilod have to be anyway. <coughs> okay. Baruch Adonai Amen, Amen.